Hey guys, Cleo Kading here, back in another video, and today we're gonna talk, we're gonna be talking about some some hidden features in features in Super Smash Bros. 64. And only ha that this game only had a few hidden few stuff in the game during its development. But today we're just gonna talk about the hidden feats of Super Smash Bros. 64. And I know, guys, me, I know there's a lot going on with this virus. Okay, a lot going on. Okay. A lot of you guys are just like this. You have no school like me. I have no school, and just drop in your home, can't go anywhere. And some people do have this thing called, uh, what's called online school, which you don't have to go to school, but you stay at home and do some online stuff. And your teachers give you like assignments like that. I haven't discussed um, discovered that yet, but I might do some school stuff maybe. Sorry guys, I know, I know. It's just my parents, but whatever I do, let's get into unused content. So first, so this might be like a little quick, like, like nine minutes so, but first let's talk about how to start it. So Sakurai, the director of Super Smash Bros, was working on a fighting game known as Dragon King, but the characters weren't, didn't make any sense, no features, I mean, not, not, I mean, like, what's it called? No characters, I mean, oh my gosh, it did have characters, but it's like nothing where it's from. So Sakurai began on a stronger game. So he used to develop a secret, secret, secret demo that featured Mario, like, let me show you, where is he? Mario, Donkey Kong, the Donkey Kong, Samus, and Fox McCloud, and other of these characters, and, and then did that to Nintendo. And then everybody liked it. And are you guys ready? On the Nintendo 64 in 1999, Super, wait, Super Smash Brothers 64. So yeah, this game was a huge thing for Nintendo. You had like 12, 12 characters to play as, and on 9 stages inspired by their game. Yeah, 9? That's 9. Also, there were some 1 player stages only, and I'm not going to look down there just yet because we're going to talk about that. That's the unused content. So without further ado, let's get into it. So, just a, it's gonna be a little, little bit of stuff because this has the least stuff. So let's get into it. Link, one of the characters in Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. 64, was one of the starry characters, and he had an unused symbol. It was an upside down tri um, Triforce, but then in the final game it began. It was the whole Triforce. Luminati confirmed. Sorry, let's get back. Yoshi, one of the starter characters in Super Smash Bros. 64 from Super Mario World, he, he had an an egg, oops, sorry, an egg that had no spots, but in the final game, he had eggs spots, you know what I mean? Okay, you guys know what I'm talking about, it's okay. Now let's talk about some, some final smashes. Two characters, Kirby from Kirby's Dream Land, he, she had unused things to his final smash, so you want to hear it guys? Hear it. Ready guys? Shh, quiet. Hold up. What's wrong with this lag? Oh, yes! Yep, that's that was her, her clip. Hold up. All right. Also, Pikachu. He, she, she. Uh, he had two things from Pokemon. Sorry, he, from Pokemon, obviously. He had an unused Final Smash. You want to hear it? Of course, guys. You want to hear it? <laughs> yep. And also, he had a, Pikachu and Jigglypuff both on Pokemon. Well, Pikachu and Kirby were the both star characters. This is the director's favorite character. And Jigglypuff was a unlockable character. You have to do um, classic mode for that. But Pikachu and Jigglypuff both had on like a yellow color scheme, but it was changed to be just for only for each color for each character to have red, blue, and green. That's it. And Pikachu only had the party hat, while Jigglypuff only had the the ribbon on her hat. But now let's talk about some more stuff. But starting with two non-playable stages, only get through cheat codes. First stage is called New. Look, it's from Super Smash Bros. and Kirby because the background looks like similar to Kirby. Of course, it was changed to be one of the 
to be, uh, change to be Dreamland from Kirby. Let me comment below what Kirby stage is it from, because I know, but what is that weird you guys think? What stage it is? Blech. Sorry. This one is called um, New. Again, similar to Super Smash Bros. and similar to Dreamland. See the background? It looks similar to Kirby. That's, her sim that's Kirby's symbol. You see Mario sitting on an invisible platform, unused textures, something like that. And if you play the game, you see these flowers go crazy. I'm telling the truth. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, had to. Go. Okay, sorry. <laughs> had to do something really quick. So, of course, guys, we got these original twelve variants, guys. Mario. Oh, 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 hold up. I messed up. Mario. Yoshi. And Luigi. And here's all the lockable characters. Ness. Captain Falcon, and Jigglypuff. But a classic Smash fashion, a few characters were planted, but need to be scrapped. I'll tell you it. The first one, Bowser. He was planted to be in the, in, in Super Smash Bros. 64, because Sakurai planned he wanted more Mario characters because Mario's popular, but he was complete, but then he needed to be scrapped. Another character that everyone was talking about during the game's development was King DD from the Kirby series. Sakurai really loves Kirby because he directed the game and King D.D. was from Kirby. So he decided, against any other Bowser, he was complete, but then he needed to be scrapped. But, we're not done yet. Me Too was also planned, but it was also cut. It was unknown. Nobody knows why it was cut. But, you know what? On the Smash... In Super Smash Bros. for you and 3 ds you know they had a sm fire ballot. He, Me Too, King D.D.D., and Bowser were all part of the Smash ballot. Bowser was number one because he, Bowser and KDD was the strongest one, while Mewtwo was like a power one. And there's one more character that was planned that needed to be scrapped. Marth. That's right, Marth was intended to be in Smash. He was intended to be one of the unlockable characters because the unlockable four are meant to be clones. But Marth didn't have a clone, so, so he was scrapped, returned, and I mean scrapped, completely gone, and returned to Super Smash Bros. Melee. Yeah, he, he was actually tended, but he didn't make it. Well, guys, I think that's going to wrap up today's video. I know there was not a lot of time, you know, time of content, but you want know to watch the movie. Hopefully my volume's not too loud, so here it is. You guys can watch it with me, watch the trailer, even though it's so old. This was Super Smash Bros. 64. Sorry guys. Smash Bros. So that was the trailer for Super Smash Bros. Well guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's unused content and feature stuff in the game's development. I, I told you, this game had like a lot of stuff planned, but then needed to be scrapped. Yeah, Bowser, King DDD, Mewtwo, and Morse were all planned to be for Smash 64, but ultimately scrapped like all these characters, except for King DDD, because he was in Brawl, because even though Sakurai voices is King DDD. So yeah. Bowser and King DDD Mewtwo were both playing the Smash Ballot because they were the top tier who won it for Smash. Bowser has been a staple for all Smash because he's a great character, one of the best characters in Smash. Mars was also 
one of the best characters in Smash because he was intended all the way to melee to ultimate. Mewtwo was actually planned to be from 64 all the way to ultimate, and you'll find out later in my series. And King DDD has been almost as stable from Brawl to Ultimate because he's a favorite of Sakurai. But that's for you guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys. Leave a like, leave, subscribe if you are new, and watch our previous video. And let me just say, let's get ready for our next episode. Bye!